you guys and welcome to another semester of art. I'm Mrs. Lascano and today I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about how the course is going to work this semester. I wanted to also go over course policies and expectations. Uh, I wanted to share with you guys a little bit about our supplies and how that's going to work. And I also wanted to just give you a little bit more info about me so you can get to know me a little bit more too. If you guys didn't know, I'm a graduate of Seton Catholic from the class of 2008. After that, I went to Arizona State University where I studied art education as well as sustainability. Here at Seton, I teach Art 1, Art 2, AP Art and Design, and I also moderate a couple clubs like Sign Language Club and National Art Honor Society. I just wanted to share with you guys a little bit of my personal artwork that I like to do on the side. Um, I enjoy working with all media, but I honestly enjoy um, just sketching outside as well whenever my husband and I are camping or we're out hiking or on vacation um, or even just sketching in the backyard. So I'm excited to share with you guys uh, the things that I'm passionate about and what I've learned along the way. The two objectives that I have for all of my classes are to learn how to express yourself, be creative, and come up with multiple solutions to a single problem. Also to learn the foundations of drawing and painting and learn how to use the elements and principles of design. As far as supplies go for this semester, for the first few projects I'm going to have uh, minimal supplies required, just paper and pencil. Um, however, all students are required to come to class every day with a sketchbook. This can be an actual sketchbook or it can be a makeshift one with um, blank paper inside of a binder. Now looking ahead, if we continue to stay online through September uh, or if you choose to work from home, then I will have supply kits available for you guys to uh, pick up on campus and those will last you for a little while. For every project, I'll have a video tutorial for students to follow along with and repeat as many times as necessary to show them the step-by-step -step process of how to create the artwork that we're working on. Here are some important policies that you will need to know for my classes. The first thing is to come prepared. Make sure that you show up to class with your sketchbook as well as a pencil and an eraser. Second, as far as late work goes, our daily assignments um, can be turned in late for half credit and our long-term art projects, you'll be penalized 10% per day past the due date. So make sure that you guys get everything on time to keep that grade high. The other policy that you need to know about is absences and extensions. If you're gone for one day, you'll have an extension equal to one day. So you'll have an extension equal to the amount of days that you are absent. One question I get asked a lot is how do you grade artwork? You'll see in front of you the five categories that I use to grade artwork, and you'll find the similar rubric on Canvas. The first category is composition and design. How well is the image created in terms of balance, proportion, and figure ground relationships? Next, we have creativity and originality, which is so important in expressing your unique individual ideas. Craftsmanship and skill is obviously a huge part of your grade as well. But we've also got effort and meeting the requirements. If you have any questions at all, please send me an email at clescano at setoncatholic.org. Or we can also set up a Google Meet if you'd like to meet virtually.